we'll talk about bad trades. I'm no expert on bad trades, but I do develop battery packs, laptop batteries, power bank, power tool batteries, and I also repair them. I repaired a battery pack some time ago and I got a question that my viewer said he was going to build his own battery pack. I would like to explain something about the batteries. <clears throat> As I stated, I'm no expert on batteries. Now, they are this type which you would get in power tools, laptops, flashlights, and so forth. There is also this type which is phasing out. You would also get that in power tools and some vacuum cleaners and so forth. This is 3.7 volts, fully charged. It is 4, well, there are different chargers which would charge them at different rates. This is 1.2 volts. This is a lithium. This one is a nikaid. Now, what I want to explain is these batteries, this one in particular, is not as dangerous as this one. But when you build in your battery bank, this is positive this is negative now if you remove the sleeve this whole thing here is negative now i've discharged these batteries they have well i won't say i've discharged them they are no, not good anymore they have no voltage in them whatsoever but when you tamper in with these batteries, this portion here is positive. This portion here is negative. If you bridge here and here, you'll get a spark. This is not that dangerous, but it's been phasing out. This one, on the other hand, is the dangerous one. This one, you can lose your finger. You can burn down your house, or it can burn down your house. The chemistry in this battery is very, very dangerous. No, it seems like this one is leaking because I could smell the... I should wear gloves for that.
Now, as I stated earlier, I'm no expert on batteries. I'm, I'm subject to correction, but I would like to protect the viewers we youtubers showing that we assembling battery packs soldering spot welding what is dangerous with that this one is the same thing that whole portion here is negative this is positive this battery if you bridge it there would be a huge spark more than this one this the chemical in that can catch a fire it's very difficult to put out you would have to put sand on it if you throw this battery in water once it's punctured the water is like a fuel for it it would ignite more so when soldering these batteries you have to use a soldering iron about 60 watts and you cannot leave the soldering iron on the battery for too long it will kill it the heat will kill it that's why the soldering iron has to be about 60 watts I just want to explain that because we are showing that we are repairing batteries we are building battery packs and so forth but in the process we are not explaining how dangerous these batteries are just remember this whole portion here is negative this is positive if you're using your soldering iron there is a this space ahead to protect the positive from the negative if soldering and you touch you saw the hair but the wire is bare long enough that it touches this you're in for a surprise you could lose your finger it could either catch a fire burn the wire or explode so you have to be very very careful with this i hope my explanation was understandable that's for those of you beginners whose battery pack or power tool pack goes down and you all want to repair the battery now if when i do get another pack i would show how to peel the nickel strip off the top of the battery so you would be safe you would save your house and things of the sort this is it for this video if you find it was informative please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos i hope that i made this simple so you beginners will understand goodbye and thank you